The Red Rock OEM style fender flares will be a great choice for the 2019 and newer Silverado owners who might be looking to add a very subtle factory style flare, but without breaking the bank. Now, this set of four flares will feature a very durable automotive grade matte black plastic, along with all of the hardware needed for the install for just over the $200 price point. Install according to the site, it's gonna get a strong one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter here, guys. Instructions say no drilling whatsoever. So leave yourself a couple of hours to complete this from start to finish and you should be good to go. But as always, hang with me for a bit and we'll walk you through this job later in the video. So if you're thinking about adding flares to your new Silverado, you're gonna find a few different options here at American Trucks and a majority of which, let's be honest, are gonna be pretty aggressive overall. They typically are gonna combine a bunch of coverage for a more aggressive offset and will oftentimes give you that bolt on appearance. And while sure, both of those options will appeal to a lot of owners out there, some Silverado owners might prefer just to add the simple contrast of a black flare, but keep things pretty mild overall in regards to styling. And if that sounds like you, then the Red Rock options that we have here today are certainly gonna be worth consideration. Now, don't get me wrong, there are still some coverage benefits to these guys. In fact, I'd say maybe just over an inch off the fender is what you're looking at once these guys are installed, but that's gonna be nowhere near the three inches or more that maybe other pocket style flares for the newer Silverado might deliver. Now, another thing I do like about these particular options is that they are smooth and free from any of those fake bolts or rivets, which I think just contributes to a more factory style or subdued appearance. But aside from the low profile look of the Red Rock options, Silverado owners also have some options when it comes to your final appearance. Now, right out of the box, you are getting a smooth matte black finish here, which will offer a nice contrast on any color Silverado out there, outside of black, of course. Now, if you're not a big fan of that contrast, and maybe wanted to increase the OEM styling of these flares even further, well, you could always have them paint match to the color of your rig for a more factory styled appearance. Just know that these are not currently available color matched on the site, so if that is something you are interested in, you would need to handle that on your own time. Now that paintable option is made possible thanks to the smooth automotive grade polypropylene or plastic build, which can be equal parts durable, but also lightweight. Now the Red Rock kit does include all four flares. Yes, I know I only have two on the table with me here today, but you are getting four along with the weather stripping here, which I really like. That's gonna go on the inside of the flare, make for a more finished look and prevent your truck from getting scratched up with these guys in place. And then finally got all of your hardware and clips here needed to get everything installed. But this is a perfect time to switch gears, guys. Talk about that installation a little bit more. So without further ado, check out our detailed walkthrough and tool breakdown right now. Tools needed for this install, a stubby Phillips head screwdriver, 10 millimeter shallow socket, a T15 Torx bit, ratchet, preferably some needle nose pliers, scissors, and a marker. First, we're gonna get our fender flares prepped. We're gonna take our weather stripping and run it along the outside edge of each fender flare. With your fender flare flipped over, that is gonna reveal the backside. With the weather stripping, you're gonna to want to remove the red backing off of your 3M so we could run this along the outside edge. And with your excess, you're gonna go ahead and take a pair of scissors and trim that away. And we'll go ahead and repeat that for all four fender flares. Now that your fender flares are prepped, we're gonna go ahead and remove our factory mud flap, as well as a few bolts that we are gonna be reusing. Now to remove your factory mud flap, it is going to be a 10 millimeter bolt. However, we are missing that. So the other two bolts are a T15 Torx bit. Go ahead and remove those.
Go ahead and grab your factory mud flap and pull outwards to get the clips undone. Now along the top of your wheel well, you're gonna continue with your T15 Torx bit and remove the three located at the top. One is going to be towards the top of the bumper. Now remember to hang on to these bolts, we will be reusing them. At this point, take your front fender flare, approximately line it up to where it is going to sit and mark your location located at the back of the wheel well and another one at the front of the wheel well. Now with the rear of the wheel well marked, go ahead and use that mark to place one of the protective patches that you are gonna use for a clip. And get that placed over the wheel well. Go ahead and take another protective patch and get that right over the front part that you marked from earlier. And we'll grab our two parts of the clip that needs to go in that spot. Now to put these together, we're gonna go ahead and slide this through the bottom part of the clamp. So it should look like that. And with that, this part is going to be the part clamped on the front of the fender. Take your clamp and get it placed over the protective patch, that way to not damage your paint. Grab your needle nose and go ahead and close the clamp. Now with your clamps in place, go ahead and grab your fender flare and get them lined up with the factory holes that we took those 15 Torx bolts from. Grab your T15 Torx bit and start tightening it down. Go ahead and grab one of your other T15 Torx bolts and get that threaded through the top of the fender flare. And your T15 Torx bit once again. And your last piece of factory hardware, go ahead and get that hand threaded. And take your T15 once again and tighten it down. Now grab one of two sharp-ended Phillips screws, press firmly to get this lined up with the clip that we placed earlier. Get that hand threaded in, then grab your stubby 
Phillips head screwdriver and tighten that screw down. Go ahead and get your factory T15 Torx bolt hand threaded and we'll come back with our T15 Torx bit and get it tightened down. And we'll do the same with the final T15 Torx at the bottom. And with another factory Phillips head screw, this one is the flatter one, go ahead and get that threaded to the front clamp that we installed earlier. Take your Phillips head screwdriver and get that tightened down. Now that you have your front fender flare secured, we're gonna move on to the rear fender flare. Again, it is going to require some of the same steps using the T15 Torx bit to remove the mud flap from the back end, the guard at the rear end, and we're gonna go ahead and use our marker again to mark some spots for our new clamps. Again, with your T15, go ahead and remove the factory bolts. Continuing with your T15 Torx bit, there are two final bolts underneath that you'll want to get undone. and go ahead and pull your mud flap away. Now at the back end of the wheel well, we are gonna be reusing these two T15 Torx. No need to remove the flap on the back side. Again, we just need the two bolts. Now go ahead and grab your rear fender flare and line up the bottom bolts on the front as well as the rear of the fender flare. Take your marker and start marking through the top.
Now with your marks you made before, go ahead and place some protective patches around your fender well. That way we can get our clamps placed on there. Grab one of your clips and get that placed over one of the protective patches. Grab another protective patch, place that over the well, and grab another clip. Get that in place. Now grab your fender flare. Go ahead and get it placed on to the truck. And using your stock Torque 15 bolts, get those first hand threaded. Get those first hand threaded. Grab your T15 Torx bit. Now grabbing your kit provided flat Phillips head screws, go ahead and get them lined up with the brackets that we installed from earlier. Go ahead and start getting your Phillips head screws placed in your fender flare. And if your bracket doesn't quite line up with the holes on the underside of the fender flare, go ahead and give it a little pressure. That way you can get them lined up. And with that, that's gonna wrap it up for our review and install of the Red Rock 4x4 OEM style fender flares, fitting your 19 and newer 1500 Silverado. Now, for all things Silverado, make sure you hit that subscribe button at americantrucks.com.